Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're on the topic this week of directionals. It's a uh, topic developed by a coach named Paul Wardlaw. And today we're on the topic of a specific ball that comes to you guys called an inside ball. And what we mean by inside ball is that it's coming kind of inside uh, your body lines. It's not gonna come from the outside and cross over your body. It's gonna come inside your body line and therefore we're gonna create space to go ahead and hit this shot, all right? Now, a couple ideas on the inside ball. You know, you look at, say, a, a Novak Djokovic, right? If, if a ball came from his opponent's backhand and settled kind of in here for him, Djokovic has a great backhand, right? So he could turn and swing this thing, and let's say he wanted to go down the line. The issue there is that that now is an outside ball. It crossed his body line, and changing direction on that shot, even as good as his backhand is, is tougher than taking an inside ball and moving it either direction on the court. So what I want you guys kind of taking away from the inside ball, you know, the majority of the court becomes a lot more available to you than on an outside ball, okay? And the way I kind of demonstrate this is if I'm a batter playing baseball, you guys, okay? So I'm in the batter's box. The pitcher delivers the ball, you know, directly in front of me. So you see hitters in baseball, you know, hit home runs out to the right, you see them hit home runs over center field, and you see them hit home runs over left field. Now, imagine a pitcher in baseball pitching to me from my left, maybe by 20 feet or so. So this tennis ball or this baseball is coming in from the side, it would be really tough to hit a home run out to right field or even center field. The, the really only good possibility is hitting the ball back in the direction of the pitcher. So thinking about that in terms of tennis, you guys want to be creating a lot of inside balls for yourself if you can because you're going to find that hitting to a, to a majority of the court becomes a pretty easy idea for you. All right, so inside balls. Again, it's, it's this idea that it's inside your body line. We're not just talking about a spot on the court. We're not saying it's just on the inside of the court because I could feasibly be out by the doubles alley and the ball's coming across. If I move well enough, I could create an inside ball way over by the doubles alley, all right? So, uh, hope that was helpful. Go out, make sure you guys kind of notice that difference between the inside and the outside ball, and it's gonna help you guys uh, play high percentage tennis and understand when are the right times to hit specific shots, okay? So that's all I got for you. Please click like below this video, and if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.